Here we have for sale our 2015 on a 15 plate Volkswagen Transporter. This is a T5, which is the shape. This is a T32, I meaning it's got a 3.2 ton gross vehicle weight. And this has got the 2 litre TDI 140 brake horsepower engine, which is a company with a six speed manual gearbox. And this is the short wheelbase, low roof, high line. It would have started its life as a combi van, but it's now been turned into a day van. And what we're going to do in this video is, is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a high line combi of this age. Um, but as I will also talk you through this particular van because as I say the configuration has been changed inside. We'll also talk you through the condition seeing as it is currently available for sale and we'll also have a look at the service history as well. First thing to note there is no VAT on this particular van so if you're seeing this vehicle advertised on Autotrader or our own website there is no VAT to pay on this van. The colour is Indium Grey, a very popular colour uh, in my opinion, one of the best that you can get a transporter in. And let's get on with it. So starting here at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that this one has got a rear glazed tailgate. What I mean by that is glazed, meaning it's got a rear window and tailgate is one door which opens up like so. On a Highline, you get a number of elements which are color coded. That includes the door handles, the, the trim here above the uh, rear number plate, and also the bumpers and along with the mirrors as well. Looking at that rear bumper, we can see that we've got rear parking sensors nicely integrated there into the rear bumper. In terms of condition of the rear bumper, all in all, looking very, very nice indeed. There's a couple of minor little uh, touch-ins here or there, but all in all, looking very, very smart. If we look here at the rear bump, uh, at the rear tailgate, there's a very small, I don't know if you can even pick this up in the, uh, in the camera here, there is a very small little uh, dent just here. I say that is very minor and looking here can't really see it but um, I say in certain lights uh, it is uh, sort of catching my eye and I say I will be very uh, honest and transparent in this video if there's anything that I can see I will gladly point it out to you. Opening up then the rear tailgate we can then start to have a look at the configuration here in the back. Now you'll notice that this is a full width uh, rock and roll bed. So if you're familiar with these, uh, you'll know that this folds down completely flat. Um, you will see pictures on our advert uh, of what that looks like uh, fully folded down. And I will see uh, a little bit later on in the video if I can do that with one hand actually while I'm holding the camera in the other. So I will try and demonstrate just how easy that is to put down. If we look inside the tailgate, you can see that it is fully carpet lined in the back. This does feel uh, like a very professional, nice job throughout. Does look very, very good indeed. This panel on the back here is held on via magnets. So I say very simply, give that a, a light pull and you can see then you do have some storage here underneath the seats and of course we've got the toolkit under there as well. That closes back up there. You could use this as a small uh, seat, maybe for children or something like that, uh, but lovely on a summer's day to open the tailgate there and you've got that uh, not only shelter from the tailgate but a little seating position just there. You have got these overhead cabinets as well so there's storage on the other side of these, there's doors on the other side and from this side you can see that there is a nice LED strip light uh, in there as well which just all adds to the premium feel inside the van. On the rear window, you can see here that we have got the V-dub curtains. These, of course, close, giving you privacy in the back if you were to sleep in the back of here. We'll continue then to go around the passenger side of the vehicle. And one other thing to note here is you'll see this rail on top here. This is a rail for a drive-away awning. Uh, so that is something uh, which could be a real benefit uh, to any uh, new user they are very very practical it certainly adds a new dimension to the vehicle altogether looking then down the passenger side of the vehicle and i must say all in all looking very very presentable indeed there are by the looks of it i say being quite critical there's a couple of minor little ripples just here possibly a sign of a previous uh, repair uh, but all in all as i say looking very very nice indeed and i say you've got the color-coded elements you've got color-coded uh, wing mirrors color-coded door handles as well and i say in this nice metallic color i think it looks really really smart indeed this one has got the 17 inch alloy wheels being that it is a t32 uh, on three of the alloy wheels i believe um, they are absolutely spot on i believe the uh, driver side front there is some small curving marks to that one but we'll uh, show you that in a second when we go around 
uh, to that side. If we open up the side loading door and then this really is what it's all about and as I say this is why I would class this not really as a full camper because I would really class a camper as one with a pop top roof uh, but certainly as a great day van conversion which you certainly can sleep in as well. Let me just quickly turn the radio down because we have got, I can hear them uh, firing away in the back here. We've got these Pioneer speakers here in the back, in uh, inbuilt into that overhead uh, storage compartment. And as I say, they're certainly working. I could hear them uh, tweeting away there. We've got, uh, say, this uh, storage door just here as well, which could certainly come in handy. And then if we look at the rear, uh, at the seats, not only have we got this fantastic checkered trim, very reminiscent of the old GTI trim, of course, but in the in the blue, uh, maybe very similar actually to the modern GTD trim, uh, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Got the blue VW emblem as well uh, into all of the headrests, as you can see there. But you'll also note that we have, of course, got the passenger swivel seat there as well. Just again, adds a, a, a fantastic another element to this. Um, so if you've got you know four of you in the back here you could have three people sitting there one sat there and you're all facing each other you've got the table in the middle as well which of course is completely removable on this uh, little stand just here looking below the passenger seat this is where you've got the control panel then which is for the leisure battery and of course the split charge unit there so while the van is running it will be charging the leisure battery for you you can use the leisure battery then to run your lights, uh, of course you've got power sockets in here, so there's many power sockets. We've got uh, a three pin socket here uh, with a 12 volt above it. On the other side, there's another 12 volt over there and below the driver's seat, we've got another three pin socket and a 12 volt socket just there as well. There is also an electric hookup, which is located underneath the bonnet by the battery. So if you were to take this to a campsite, you can hook it up to the electric, you're not relying then on running down your uh, leisure battery and as I say you've got all the lights here in the roof and you've also got lights actually inbuilt as you can see here into the lovely uh, raised VW emblem in the ceiling. Again you've got the VW curtains on the side windows so you've got those as I say on both sides here as I say to give you that privacy uh, in the back here if you need it. Looking then at the paperwork that I've got here laid out on the table, so we've got fantastic service history with this particular van. If we go back to the first service, this van is two owners from new. And I know that the previous owner did actually purchase it from VW. So it looks like this has been actually a local van from new. So you can see a service here with uh, VW down in Swansea. Uh, another service there with the same dealership, VW down in Swansea as well in 2019. Another one then in June 2021 at 58,000 miles and we have now just fully serviced the vehicle as well. Reason being uh, we didn't have a record of a timing belt previously being done. It may well have been previously done but that's not something that we can take a chance on so while we put it through our workshop as we do with all of our vehicles for at least a multi-point health check we've also done the timing belt and water pump as well lovely to see as well which uh, you don't get with many vans the previous owner has kept records of uh, previous bills uh, for some work that has been carried out in VW some of the servicing work MOT work things like that and while we put it through the workshop the other thing that we've done is we have actually given it a full uh, new MOT so you've actually got a 2023 MOT on this particular vehicle probably the first one that I have seen all right let me see if I can take this table out so it twists into the floor and if I just take this out and pop it down over here I can then see if I can show you how this fantastic bed works. So the front here, very much the same as the back, is clipped on via a magnet. So if we pull that out of the way. So I have unbolted the seats just here, so the, these bolts do slide across. But then all you need to do is pull on the bed there, and it is very, very simple to do so. When it gets to this point, it will become some, uh, a bit tighter because you have got the seat belts there. But you push that down, and then you have got a full width, fantastic rock and roll bed. Which so it's got plenty of padding on here, so it does I do imagine that would be very comfortable indeed. Maybe a little mattress topper or something over the top of that. But uh, 
a full width rock and roll bed and as I say it is as simple as that you can even do it with one hand as I've just shown you there. I don't want to spend too much time in the back of the vans we'll continue to go around the outside here because we need to come around to the driver's side as well. Looking then at the front of the vehicle we've also got the colour-coded front bumper we've got front fog lights just here and I've got to say in terms of condition looking very very nice indeed. A couple of minor uh, stone chips which have been touched in just here of course on the bonnet but all in all looking very very smart indeed and as I'm sure you'll agree a very good looking van in the Indian grey. Looking then down the driver's side there looking very straight and clean. I've got to say there's not much I can particularly fault the driver's side on. It's looking very clean and tidy. Uh, very small imperfection down here at the very, very bottom near the sill. Let's say that is very low down, certainly not in the line of sight. And as I mentioned, on this driver's front wheel here, we have got the cap actually to replace that in the, in the centre there. But we do have uh, some curved marks there just on the edge of the wheel. We can try and improve that for you. If we open up the driver's door then, we can quickly have a look inside the cab here at some of the spec inside here. So on top of the driver's door we have electric windows, we also have electric folding mirrors. If you turn that to the upward position like so, the mirrors will fold into place and then when you turn it back to the heated position there, they will then go back to that. Looking at the driver's seat, again you've got this fantastic trim. I've got to say it does look very very good quality and as I say this lovely checker in the middle with the VW emblem in the headrest. I think that looks really really smart. You can see the floor here, all in really good order. Same with the step there as well. If I pop the mat just down there. We do have two full remote keys with the vehicle. Leather steering wheel, very mild wear to the very top of the steering wheel, but as I say, that is absolutely in line with its age and mileage. Looking at the mileage, 61,521 miles. You can see the vehicle is running at the moment, so all idling correctly as it should be. Six-speed manual gearbox, as I mentioned near the start of the video. Air conditioning, which comes as standard on a Highline, fantastic bit of spec. Of course, you can connect your phone via uh, Bluetooth as well, um, and uh, the, all the usual radio controls up here. There is a little hidden 12 volt socket just up on top there. Also, all in all, a very, very smart cab. Uh, as I say, nothing really to fault it on just there. And as I say, you've got the spec that you need, which is, uh, of course, air conditioning. One other thing which I forgot to show you is if I just turn the steering wheel over to the left hand side we have also got cruise control here on the end of the stalk as well so I just wanted to show you that also just so just to summarize 2015 on a 15 plate Volkswagen Transport is the T5 which is the shape T32 so 3.2 tons gross vehicle weight 140 brake horsepower 2 litre TDI diesel engine, six-speed manual gearbox, no ad blue of course on this vehicle, so it's not Euro 6, this is a Euro 5 vehicle, and very nicely converted into a day van, as you've seen in the back, with a full width rock and roll bed, leisure battery, uh, with multiple uh, power points throughout the vehicle as well, LED lighting in the rear, absolutely ready to go, and as I say, not only that, but there is no VAT to pay, so a big, big bonus for anyone who's not that registered, you've got, you've got that lovely driveway awning rail on the side there also but a fantastic service history uh, first uh, three with VW uh, which is always lovely to see and then we have also put it right through our workshop for a full service as well uh, including uh, as I say a timing belt and uh, water pump change and also a new MOT. If you'd like to inquire on this vehicle it's a fantastic VW Transporter. Feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign. We can arrange finance on all of our vehicles, including this one, with rates starting as low as 7.9% APR. And we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well. We can deliver our vehicles nationwide. That is a charge service, but by all means, get in contact for a competitive quote for delivery. Also, thank you very much for watching.